Pope Francis said goodbye to Rome one day before beginning what will be the longest trip of his pontificate. The pilgrims present in St. Peter's Square wished him a pleasant journey. During his Sunday Angelus, the Pope remembered the victims of an attack in Burkina Faso, which claimed the lives of more than 200 people. Con dolore ho appreso che sabato 24 agosto nel comune di Barcelona in Burkina Faso centinaia di persone, tra le quali donne e bambini, sono stati uccise e, e molte altre ferite in un attacco terroristico. Nel condannare questi esecrabili attentati contro la vita umana, esprimo la mia vicinanza alla nazione intera e il mio sentito cordoglio alle famiglie delle vittime. This was not the first attack. Since 2015, the African country has been battling jihadist groups. Additionally, Pope Francis again expressed his solidarity with the victims of the wars in Ukraine and Gaza. He insisted on a ceasefire and urged negotiations to continue and for the hostages to be released. Si rilascino gli ostaggi, si soccorra la popolazione a Gaza, dove si stanno anche diffondendo tante malattie, inclusa la poliomeliti. Sia pace in Terra Santa, sia pace in Gerusalemme. Caritas Jerusalem is working to help contain this disease. Despite logistical difficulties, a vaccination campaign was launched in the Gaza Strip.